welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to build apache cassandra 4.1 from its source code using jenkins 2.375 and and 1.10 without using any source code repository so that is we are going to build the source code in directory itself okay see here i already downloaded apache cassandra 4.1 uh, source code zip file so i have provided the download link in the description of the video before building the project let me show you the global tool configuration okay so i am going to manage jenkins global tool configuration see here i have already integrated apache ant with jenkins so ant 1.10 i am using and these are my jdk installation which i already integrated with jenkins so these are my basic settings uh, in Jenkins in order to build Apache Cassandra 4.1 okay now let us go to dashboard and create one project so I am giving some name to the project it will be a freestyle project so it will be a freestyle project Okay, I have created a freestyle project. Click the OK button. Okay, now let us configure the freestyle project. So I am going to use JDK 11. Source code management, I am selecting none because I am going to build the source code in local directory without using any source code repository. And I am selecting with that JDK 11 and build steps invoke ant. Build steps, invoke ant. So I'm selecting ant on dotted. And Java options, I'm using these options. So I am skipping the auditing uh, test. So that I am using drat.skip equal to true. So apply it, save it. So that's all. So I am going to build the empty project. So without source code, I am building the empty project. So go to console output. So you can see on directory will be got created. So this directory only. I'm going to extract the Apache Cassandra source code. So I'm going to extract the Apache Cassandra source code. Okay. So let me go to the Jenkins workspace. Yes. So now what we're uh, going to do? I extracted the old directory. So I am copying the content of the. So I am copying the content of the directory outside. Then only uh, that uh, build.xml will be available to the Jenkins. That's it. So this is the final directory structure after extracting to uh, to the Apache Cassandra workspace directory. So make sure that build.xml uh, available. So back to Jenkins. I am clicking the build now. Once again, so you can see that uh, Jenkins automatically picked up the build.xml. See here, and also these are the Java options I have passed to the and okay. So you can see that source code is getting built automatically, and build was successful. So these are the build logs. So let me go to top. See in left hand side, you can see executed ant tasks. So these are all the ant tasks in build.xml. See here, all are ant tasks, which is available in build.xml. Okay. So you can 
browse the uh, output that is jar file or uh, output in the workspace directory so go to build directory you can see the output okay so finally we have built uh, apache cassandra 4.1 uh, using jenkins and ant 1.10 without using any source code uh, management tool that is without source code repository we have built and source code is built using built in local directory itself okay so make sure that you have internet connection in order to uh, download jar files to compile the apache cassandra source code 